Hey. Hey, 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 Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. How are we all doing? I hope you're doing really well. Guys, welcome back to the channel. And we are in Train Sim World 5 today. I got this. Do you know when it was on, like, the, the free update when you could upgrade uh, from Train Sim World 4 to Train Sim World 5? And I got the free upgrade, and I just left it. I just, it was back when I had my little break from YouTube. Yeah, and I wasn't really feeling in the mood, but I thought, you know, I'll, I'll get the free upgrade. And today, I've logged into it, and wow, you know, it looks it looks really good. So we're, we're going to do a little run, not in too long. Uh, we're just going to do a little run. So let's go over to, to the trains. Let's go on to select the routes. Um, I think I'm going to go on to here. Because I had a little go of this earlier on. Um, shall we? Shall we? Yeah, yeah, we'll do the glossop line, yeah. Uh, so let's select the timetable. So we'll go on to the... Uh, so we're going to be dri uh, driving the 323. Probably one of my favorite trains in train sim world and i'm going to choose a livery from the creators club that i downloaded because normally it comes with the the northern uh livery the the shout what some people call the shouty northern livery but we're not going to be having that on our train today we're just going to go with like a custom skin that i downloaded mm. earlier on and we'll just choose something nice and easy yeah so we'll go with this one here uh, it's going to be 31 minutes, all in all, so that's, that's going to be quite good. This music, do you know, for some reason, it reminds me of the old music on PUBG. Do you know, <laughs> do you know why you're waiting for the game to load in? <laughs> it does, it does, it really does. So we're going to do this. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this dynamic weather because I am not a fan of the dynamic weather whatsoever. Let's just put a little tiny touch of precipitation in. Uh, a tiny touch of wetness in. We'll leave the clouds clear. No winds. Fog can go and do one. I'm not a fan of that. Right, okay. Um, with that being said, guys, let's load in and I'll see you when we get there. Right, hello, hello. Right, here we are. Uh, so we're going to be driving uh, to Golf uh, 07, Manchester Piccadilly to Hadsfield via Glossop Part 1. And so we're, I'm only going to do the up route. I'm not going to do the down route in today's episode, just the up route. Uh, so we're going to drive the Northern Service from Manchester Piccadilly to Glossop. We're in the Class 3 to 3. We are 131 tons heavy. We're three cars long, and we are 76.7 yards in total. Right, let's have a look. Let's do all the lovely stuff. Let's get the doors open first. Uh, isolated. Let's get that sorted. No more. No more. No more. Isolated. Let's get that sorted. That's normal. Lovely jubbly. Um, get the GSMR on. Nice. Where's my cab lights? That's the heater. Cab lights. I do like nice cab lights. And I have noticed that that now illuminates there. Never used to illuminate in Train Sim World 4. It was always. I mean, these lights were always on. But it was just like a yellow yellow tinge and you can see the reflections there so that's really nice uh, let's put our key in there let's get that done there let's get that done there let's get that cancelled off there uh, anything else that we need to do let's do a quick test that's fine let's have a look outside Ooh, yes Look at this livery. And do you know what? All in all, it looks really, really, really nice. 
we've got a couple of services in over there they've got the northern livery on that's what I mean by when I say shouty northern do you know where it says northern in capital letters and um, we've got this on here what time are we due out but well, we're on Jack's time anyway one second I just need to change that all overhead you can't see it but I can it's just my recording overlay is just over the time so I can't really see it there we go that cancelled off Right, we're due out now to be fair, so let's get the doors closed. And then you can see the livery. Yeah, so we're on the uh, water line. I downloaded this earlier on. I thought it's quite nice. I mean, I like blue. I really, really, really do. And the little pinstripe of the red going across the top. And it just looks nice with the white doors. I, I personally think it does. Right, so we're at uphill star, so we'll just put the uphill button in. Release those brakes. And we're off. And we're just going to take a nice leisurely drive. It's just look nice. This new game engine is really, really, really sexy. It really is. And I, I use, I, it's, it's, it's not often I use the S words, sexy. But this is really, really, really sexy, guys. It looks amazing. It's a big, massive improvement on uh, Train Sim World 4. Got a couple more units in over there. It's slightly raining, slightly wet. It's just like the way Jack likes his life. Slightly rainy and slightly wet. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> I don't know why I just said that. Oh, my word. There's another unit out there. Oh, my goodness. Where's the bloody window wipers? Um, I haven't got the foggiest where the window wipers are. Uh, I, it's been a while. It's been a while. I'll find them in a second. Right. Window wipers. They're normally down here, aren't they? That's cab lights. It's cab lights are on bloody window wipers tail lights oh I didn't do that did I tail lights are on uh, day running where's the bloody it's just bad into one there oh my word it shows you doesn't it that it's been such a long time I always thought they were long here but I bet you they are and I've just window wipe control there we go There we go. Rain effects have changed, haven't it? It's going to notch two. Yeah, the rain effects have changed. Let's just put them up a bit further because it used to be blurry. Because I'm playing on the Xbox Series S. And it used to be really blurry. That's been really improved. Do you know when they used to go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right? It used to be really blurry. I have to wait and sit. I have to wait until I do some post production on this and see how it comes out once I've rendered the video. But yeah, on my screen, it looks really well. As I said, I'm playing on the Xbox Series S, and I think that Dovetail have done a really, really, really amazing job to scale this down. Uh, onto the Xbox Series S really nicely. Right, so where are we? 0.7 mile away from our first stop. It's nice seeing a bit of rain, isn't it? Oh, something else that they've improved as well is the photo modes, which I think is rather, rather quite nice. So you've got your normal stuff here. You've you got your depth of field. You've got your focal point. You can change this all the way out there. So you're just focusing on the uh, on the center of your screen. Uh, you've got your, your FOV. So if you want to change your field of view, 
Uh, you've even got motion blur. I, I I don't like motion blur. I'm not a massive fan of it. Uh, over here, you got your exposure saturation. I like I like a bit of saturation. I like to oversaturate my videos. Uh, not video photos. I like to oversaturate my photos. Sometimes I do put a bit of a uh, extra saturation into my videos as well. And you got your vintage, your brightness. You got your grain effect if you want to. You can do. That I don't know why you want to do that, but you can. But here, 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 right? You got your temperature, so you can have above freezing or below freezing. Uh, weather presets you can have foggy, light clouds, uh, lightning storm. You can have it misty, that can go and do one because I don't like it. You can have light rain, like we're going through at the moment, that looks really nice, doesn't it? You can have a rainstorm. You can have heavy snow, or you can just have it clear. And then you can just mess about with all of those presets to your heart content. So you can have snow level here. Uh, we'll just put that 2%, 3%, 4 Let's just notch that up just a little bit. Here we go, here we go. So look at that. Doesn't that look really nice? And then you could just put a few clouds in there if you wanted to. Right, so you got some clouds up there. Let's—I tell you what. Let, let's just mix a bit of fog in with that as well. Oh, that looks saucy, doesn't it? Really does. Let's just put a bit of this in. That'll be a bit of snow. Oh, game time! You can advance that. But look at that! You can make some really sexy photos and make it look really, really, really amazing. I like that. That is a really seriously nice touch. It really is. Right, where are we? We're approaching our first stop. Uh, we're already a minute late, but that doesn't matter because we are on, guys. What are we on? What are we on? We're on Jack's time. So it doesn't matter whether you're early or you're late. You are always guaranteed to be on time on Jack's time. Oh, yes. Going uphill. Right, so here's our first stop just coming up. Oh, it's still a bit blurry. You can just see it there, can't you? Now I'm zoomed in. But that used to be really bad, like when you when you're not zoomed in, like this. Just put a bit of braking in. Bring that speed down a little bit. Step number two. Nobody's got their umbrella up, that's fine. There we go. Nicely done. Let's put ourselves into neutral. Open our doors. Let's get a bit of height. Ooh, look at the moon. Very nice. Go camera angle. There we go. It's all right. People have got the winter coats on. She's. Brave in the cold and her leggings, very nice. Right, let's get them doors closed. You tough luck, lads. Tough luck. Right, let's, uh, release those brakes. We're on uphill start, so we'll put the brake in. And off we go. Ooh, we did slide back a little bit there, didn't we? But not too much. I like the sound effect of the uh, the rubber part of the window wipers, where you can hear squeaking along the window. It's really nice. Right, let's just slow that down to number one there. there we go. Right, 
Right, we're 3.2 mile away. We have got two green signals up ahead of us. I'm glad that they haven't messed around with the hood too much. There's a couple of little odd tweaks here and there. But I'm liking it. Let's go outside for a second. can still a bit of coasting on the Birmingham version of this train we've got a little fan that is just there I like that 2.4 mile away from our next stop have a look outside oh wait Here are the birdies. Everyone might likes a nice little birdie. Not there. Right, what's the next level on that? So it's off, and then just one. Right, let's whack it all the way up. Past. Let's have a look at what that looks like. Oh, that messes with my OCD. Let's get that cancelled off. I think the rain's gone off. We'll just leave it at that for the time being. Because the outside here on the windows, well, it was wet just before, I guess. Can't turn that off, can we? Right, 1.5 mile away. Green, it was a yellow, it's just gone to a green. Got a gradient of one. What? we go that's for all you lovely horny people out there who like to hear a decent sounding horn <laughs> there you go old jack spoiling yet <laughs> love it love it right, let's just do a bit of coasting a station will be on us before we know it Got. That's what the cab looks like when we go into this uh, mini tunnel. It's nice, isn't it? Look at this seat. Never used to look like that. A really nice job. Really, really, really nice job. Tiny bit of breaking in. Although this EMU is quite good at stopping. Really is. We've got a 0.3 gradient going up. So we'll just use that as a natural break and let it slowly slow us down. There's our stop just right there. That's a new section there where it made us wobble a little bit. That never used to happen. And that as well. Ooh. This line definitely hasn't been tweaked. I played this line a lot, a lot on Train Sim World 4. And I don't remember those two wobbles.
Right, lovely jubbly. Let's get the doors open. And let's have a quick look at the map. That's the fold, isn't it? Look at the map. Ooh. This is quite... Ooh, this is new, isn't it? And it shows you the signals. That is brilliant. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Let's get them doors closed. Uphill start again. Let's get them brakes off. Off we go. That's, that's almost perfect, that. That was an almost perfect start. Yeah, I, I, I maybe... I, I was just going to say, maybe it's just with the, the engine overhaul, but I don't remember those little bumps either side, just before we came into that platform. And the rumbles on the controller as well. There's some new rumbles. Right, so where are we going next? Uh, Flory Fjords, 1.4 mile away. Only got 60. I'll tell you what, let's open a right the way up. Get up to 60. What's the max? 90 mile an hour. If this wasn't an uphill gradient, you could definitely have a go at getting up to maybe 80, 85. At the moment, we've got a, a 1.0 up, uh, uphill gradient. No point seven mile away, so we'll just put it into brake one. Bring that speed down a bit. I like the sounds of the bears. I I love the sound of wildlife in games, you know. And I think Dovetail do it really well. I really, really do. Very nice. Down to about 20-ish. You know, Train Sim World has got to be one of my favourite games to stream. Just because when, when I'm streaming over on YouTube, and you guys that are watching this now over on YouTube. When you guys come in and we have, we have a chat and stuff and all that, it's a nice easy game to ease, I mean easy, easy for me because I'm simple, I am really simple. Uh, things complicate me really easily. <laughs> but it's a nice easy game just to, just to play and to read chat. I make, I, I do make the odd occasional mistake. Out my way, thank you very much. Yeah, I do make the other occasional mistake, but all in all, it's it's a good a game to stream. And to stream is dream. Yes, a stream is dream. Put ourselves into neutral. There, doors open. Sit on the other side. Oh, let, let's sit on the fence. Never been one for sitting on the fence, but you know. Ooh, what's that over there? Oh, I've got that one. It's one of the collectibles, isn't it? Yeah, but this, this is quite nice. Now that you can see uh, that, that's us there. And now that you can see the signal, so we zoom in here, off this branch line here. 
you can see the signals it's brilliant i wonder whether it will show it should show all the units shouldn't it really nice indeed love it right let's get the doors closed Psychopath, who's she looking at there? Maybe that's her boyfriend there, and she's like, well, You know, I know what you did last summer. And he's like, No, you didn't. No, you don't. She's like, Yeah, I do. Never mind. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Hotel start. Very nice. I know what you did last summer. That's a good movie, that is. Right, how many more stops have we got? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six more stops to go. Just realised we are fastly approaching our next stop. This, this stops up this neck of the woods, this this part of the route, are quite close together. It's getting a bit carried away there. The reflections on the on the train on the unit really nice done really nicely done as I said it's it's scaled really well really well for the Xbox Series S sounds like a bit of construction work going on somewhere He's got his uh, overnight bag there. And where he's up to. Right, let's get the doors open. Don't think we have to worry about anybody walking down this area. Uh, uh, down here. Right, where are these all going to? Public information board's quite nice as well, and reflection there as well. We're having a bit of a fight getting up. Come on, my love, get on. Nice. Doors closed. Thousands forwards. Uphill starts. Get them brakes off. Breaks it off. And off we go. Maybe I shouldn't have thrown it straight into number four. Let's do it in number two. Hope you're enjoying today's episode, guys. If you are, don't forget to hit the like button if you're new to the channel hello if you're new to the channel if you're enjoying it hit the subscribe subscribe button for me that'd be fantastic and the little bell icon just give it a little smudge give it a little tap and that'll let you know the next time that i upload some new content to youtube all right where are we See if we can get a good stop from in the cab. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, we got this, haven't we? Go. 
Doors open. How did we do? Where's the stopper marker? That's supposed to be the stopper marker. No, that's a danger. Ooh, we haven't got that, have we? Tell you what. Let's get out and we'll get that sign. Nice. I haven't got a lot of signs to be fair. There's one over there as well, but I'm not going to cross the track. Come on! All aboard the Jack Death Express. Come on. They dodged you up then, did they? Let's hop on board. Get them doors closed. Uphill start again. So to do the uphill starts, you can see on the throttle handle there. Let's just take ourselves. Ooh. Right. Uh, if you press your left trigger and you see the, the brake going in, in and out, in and out. Right, so let's take the brakes off. Keep your left trigger pressed in. Put it onto number two. Keep near the engine spooling up and off we go. Engine spooling up. That's probably the, the totally incorrect term. I'm sure somebody will tell me off for it. Right, our next stop is 0.8 mile away. Then we have one, two, three more stops to go. The all the trees in autumn fall. It's nice, isn't it? That counts as well. That station that we just passed through there, the abandoned one. I love that. You know, you know, that's one of my favourites. It's pretty much an up uphill gradient all the way along this first part of the route. Where are we? Let's put a bit of braking in. Are we off on the left or right hand side? I think it's the right hand side, isn't it? We're letting the passengers off this time. Quite a few people. There's a few people on the opposite platform as well. Go. Doors open. Is he off to? Is he getting on our train? He certainly is. All right there, my lovely people. How's it going? Well, that looks more like a bloke. But how's it going, love? Doors closed. Uphill starting again. I keep on doing that wrong, don't I? The brakes off. Very, very nice indeed. Two stops to go, guys, until our final destination. And the next stop is just a mile away. If we were sticking to the official timetable, we are... Uh, ten. Seven minutes late. So it's not too bad in the grand scheme of things because we have been messing about a bit. Thank you. 
bit of coasting. Okay. Is that the second unit that we're seeing on the opposite track? On the down track? Breaking in. The brakes on this unit is really good. They are, they are really good. Doors open. Wait. <laughs> Look at that, like his lunchbox there. Look at that. And I'm in his food lunchbox before there's any lewd comments. <laughs> Look at that. Is he getting on our train? Come on, sunshine. Are you getting on? I'm following this pink lunchbox. Is he getting on? No, he's not. I've shot him up. I've shot him up. <laughs> I love that. That is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Let's get <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my words. <laughs> Off we go. That is brilliant. Honestly got the pink lunchbox. It's never a dull day, guys, is it? Never a dull day. <laughs> oh, we can go a bit quicker now. It's uh, nearly just under two miles away. Oh, look at this. Let's see if we can get a nice... Ooh. Screenshot just right there. Oh, yeah, look at that. That looks really nice, doesn't it? About there. Hi, the UI. Get that in there. Really nice. We are speeding. Not on you there. Lovely bridge as well, isn't it? Let's get another screenshot just right there with the hills and the trees and autumn leaf in the background. Let's get that UI off. Really nice. <laughs> That's a horny home for that guy and his pink lunchbox. <laughs> Let's let's yes. <laughs> oh my word! You don't come to my channel for some serious simulation, guys. Like the intro said, it's life, fun, and simulation. <laughs> well, it's a bit steep coming in here, isn't it? Put our foot back down. Drop the hammer. I wonder how much electricity one of these units actually would use or consume on an average trip that we're doing today. If somebody knows or can do a bit of research and let me know and leave it in the comment box down below. I'll be really pleased of that. Cancelled off. And 
no, I, no idea what that sign just meant. A block outside. Very nice. Get down to about 500 yards and start putting some braking in. Put it in now, actually. I didn't see those speeds coming up. Sorry, guys. It's another screenshot. Let's do it from here. I'll tell you what I will do. Um, let's put a bit of rotation in there. Why not? That looks really, really, really nice. And I will use this one for my thumbnail. There we go. Right, we are almost at our final destination. I don't want to derail the bloody thing. Slow down. Sorry about that. Listen to that. Listen to that. Don't look at me. Nicely done. Get them doors open. Come on, guys. All aboard. Even though you could probably walk the rest of the way if you went out the station and walked down the road. But, you know, you bought your ticket, so come on. The inside looks really nice, and we are quite full. Really, really, really nice. Right, let's get the doors closed. And we will push on to our penultimate stop. Uphill start. Ourselves and forwards. Off we go. Speed limit of 25 coming up. This is nice, isn't it? It's us there. Really nice. It's 25 marker just right there. Do a bit of coasting. Got ten coming up. I'll 
be honest, before we know what happens, I've cancelled off. Yeah, what's this board mean, guys? That board there. Uh, somebody let me know. So that 10 marker just right there. Just made that. Station car park. There's a ten mark for when we go back out. I wonder whether the camera will get pushed out of the way like it used to. Oh, yeah, it does a bit. People are having a fight on the platform there, trying to get past each other. You know, he's got a green... Oh, she's got a green lunchbox. That's that's fine. She's got a green lunchbox. She's got a pink lunchbox. I'm obsessed with these little lunchboxes now. Because they weren't in Trains in World War. Go. Lovely jubbly get the doors open and that should be the scenario ended. <whistles> Lovely jubbly really 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 enjoyed that. So there we go, level thirty. Oh Jack hasn't lost his touch. Um Back to free roam. Well, let's get ourselves up. Shoot up. Get out and get up. Very nice. Right, let's go in here. See how far we can go. Get up, we freaking way. Get out my way, get out my way. Can we go through there? No. But, ah, we can't, can we? I'll tell you what, let's go back in and sit back down. Stop that bloody buzzer noise. Right, guys, I am going to leave it right there. Listen, if you have enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to do all that lovely stuff that old Jack loves. Like, comment, leave, subscribe if you haven't already done so. That would be fantastic. Uh, the bell icon, give it a little tap. That will let you know the next time that I upload a new episode to YouTube. And, guys, there's a link to my Discord down below. Come over, say hello to me. I don't fight. <laughs> we are a friendly bunch right there. If you want to buy Jack a cup of old English tea, you can do. There's a link in the description down below. I hope that you all have a wonderful day on whatever day this comes out on. Or whenever you're watching this, have a wonderful day. With that being said, guys, I'll see you later. Love you loads. Catch you in the next one.